Hey there, this is Kimberly Munoz, Instructional Technologist with Franklin ISD in Texas. Today's problem focuses on paperwork that we have to collect from our students in class. Are you tired of collecting paperwork from your students? Do you wish that there was a way that you could digitally get information from them and keep that in your computer? Well, we're going to solve this in three minutes. Today, I want to focus on teaching you about Google Drive. If you don't have a Gmail account yet, you need to sign up for one because that is how you can have access to this wonderful tool called Google Drive. Once you get a Gmail account and you're in your account, you just simply click on this icon with all the little squares and you click on your Google Drive. Inside of your Google Drive, there's a red Create button and you click on it and there's several different options. Forms is the option that you want to take a look at. But before I click on it, I want to show you an example of what I'm talking about. This is a form that I created using Google Drive in order to give a business letter test. Once all of my students completed the questions, it put all of their answers into a spreadsheet just like this. So I could easily go through and grade it, but I also collected their information digitally. No paperwork in there. So let's go back to Google Drive and look at how we can create one quickly. We're going to click on the Create button and choose Form. Once we create this form, we're just simply going to choose Get Started. This is just simple instructions. Then you're going to choose the template that you would like to use and click OK. At the top where it says Untitled Form, you're going to name your quiz. And then here you're going to ask for their first and last name because if you don't, you won't know um, who, the, who the answers belong to. So first and last name. We are going to choose um, the type of box that we want. We don't want this to be multiple choice. We just want to give them a text box. We want to require the question by checking the box and we want to press done. If we want to delete this, we can press the trash can. If we want to duplicate this or if we want to edit it because we did something wrong or misspelled it, we can click edit. But going to the first problem, we just click add item and now we can type our very first problem. So whatever it is that you want to ask. You can choose between multiple choice, paragraph text, check boxes. There's many different choices here. So I'm just going to type in a few answers. All I'm doing is pressing the tab key. And once you have uh, everything typed in that you want, you can then click require the question or else unless you want them to be able to skip it. And then they can click done. So as you can see, you just click, keep clicking on add item until you have all the items that you want. Whenever you're finished, you can click on view live form in order to go out to your form to see what it looks like. This URL up here at the top is exactly the URL you're going to copy and paste and send it out to your students. And that's how quick you can solve your going paperless problem.